Dispute over parking Rivian R1T electric truck in Florida highlights HOA injustice. We love a good HOA story well, they're never good, so we should say gripping or some other adjective and here's a new one that hits close to home, since it involves our 2022 Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Rivian's fantastic R1T. A Florida resident bought one of these new electric pickups, and now his homeowners association is telling him he can't park it in his driveway, because, it's a truck. Miami TV station WPLG reports that Glenn Gordon, a 27-year resident of Weston Hills Country Club in Florida, got a nasty gram from his HOA two weeks after buying the Rivian. The letter cited a rule titled Vehicle Parking Truck, capitalization there's trucks, trailers, recreational vehicles, RVs, and slash or commercial vehicles of any kind are not permitted to be parked anywhere in the association slash community except inside of your garage during overnight hours. Now, it's pretty obvious to us, as we're sure it is to you, that this rule is meant to prevent big, ugly commercial vehicles from cluttering up the neighborhood. Fair enough, we can understand that. But Gordon's Rivian is not ugly, it's not particularly big, and it's certainly not commercial. The R1T, like millions of other pickup trucks, is a personal use vehicle, and at $100,000 a rather upscale one at that. According to Gordon, his futuristic R1T has drawn lots of, positive, attention from neighbors. Gordon is being threatened with fines and is concerned that the HOA could put a lien on his house. The HOA solution is for Gordon to park the Rivian in his garage, problem is, Gordon doesn't have room in his garage. Also, it's his house and he apparently feels, and rightly so, that it's his damn house and he can park his own damn car any damn where he damn well pleases. The TV report portrays Gordon as a reasonable soft-spoken gentleman, but we think he should curse more. We reached out to Castle Group, the property management company which sent the violation letter to Gordon and have yet to hear back. The future outcome seems pretty obvious, Gordon has retained an attorney, and somebody's going to sue somebody. The result, we imagine, will be similar to a 2001 case cited by Gordon's attorney, in which an HOA sued a resident for over his pickup truck, erroneously listed as a 2000 GMC Silverado OI. The court sensibly ruled that it wasn't the 1970s and pickup trucks were now common as personal vehicles. The court ruled for the pickup owner, and some $40,000 of the other homeowner's HOA fees went to pay his legal bills. The presiding judge in that case shared the same thought we had, lots of SUVs, and even the hapless Chrysler PT Cruiser yep, the judge picked up on that, too are classified by the EPA as light trucks. If we were in Gordon's position, we'd be combing the EPA site and demanding that the HOA enforce the rule against every SUV that the EPA classifies as a truck. But that's just us. We like to be difficult. Or, at least, to match difficulty with difficulty. Naturally, this being Florida, the comment section on the TV station's article is filled with suggestions that the rules shouldn't apply to the Rivian because it isn't a real truck. Folks, we assure you, it most definitely is. This is one of those head-shaking moments that makes us wonder, who needs tyrannical fascist government when you have a homeowners association? Also, Maybe if someone's around to help Gordon clean out his garage so he can park the R1T in it, 
seems like a whole lot of messiness could simply be avoided. But why let the Hoa win?